you are under arrest. I'd better call Saul. And Better Call Saul, episode eight, we introduce Saul Goodman, who is a local shyster lawyer. He's the kind of dude you see on late night TV. And that's why I fight for you, Albuquerque. Except that this guy happens to be pretty brilliant at what he does. If I can find you, how far behind can the cops be? I don't understand. What exactly are you offering to do for me? What did Tom Hagen do for Vito Corleone? He becomes, in this episode, Walt and Jesse's consigliere in the Godfather sense. Hey, you're now both officially represented by Saul Goodman and Associates. Your secrets are safe with me under threat of disbarment. Luckily, he's got no scruples or morals. Jimmy provides a very special service. For a price, Jimmy will go to prison for you. Walter White is a character who doesn't say what he thinks all the time. And what's brilliant about Brian Cranston is you can see it on his face. I have spent my whole life scared. Brian, who I'm usually kind of overbearing toward him, he kind of comes in and kind of talks me out of my, out of my depression a little bit. He can't get out of bed because he's so fearful of what has happened. It's that fear that's the worst of it. There's that sensation that the one who's the, the, the least ill uh, can, can take care of someone. So I was trying to comfort him and tell him, you'll get over this and just you know put one foot in front of the other and just keep breathing and, and things will be okay. Get out in the real world and you kick that bastard as hard as you can right in the teeth. That's what makes it writing on the show so great. It is ironic that he's kind of talking me into, you know, back kind of talking me up even though he's the guy I'm chasing. <laughs> no, no. Oh my God, Jimmy's on the wrong bench. Crap. Uh, we're screwed. In the writer's room, we, we sometimes call it uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Heisenberg in that he's kind of battling with himself now. Get out, go stop him. The DA is right there, they see me. We're Just screwed. Get out, I'll do something. They set up a guy who looks like Walt, and, and of course Walt was there, and it was, that was kind of odd. Hank, I thought that was you. Oh, hey, Schrader, Steve, I'm how are you? Whoa, whoa. It didn't seem, obviously, that he had any connection with that drug dealing going down. Wrong guy, wrong guy, other bench. I think about it. We narrowly escaped from that. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yes. What's it going to be? And each episode has to do with who he really is and who will win and the problems of living this double life and how that affects who he is. And it's really been exciting with Brian Cranston to see him explore those sides of Walt and deal with those problems that Walt and Heisenberg have to deal with. I'm no Fido Corleone. 